Hi friends, welcome. Please subscribe to Dr. Ashok channel and click on the bell icon for latest notifications. Today we are going to go mind blow second premolar and I have done a dimensions of the crown here from the cervical region to the occlusal region and I have drawn two lines on the buccal surface which are diverging towards the occlusal surface. Then coming to the mesial side, I am going to reduce the wax on the mesial and distal sides. For that I am going to give a deep notch on the mesial surface like this and I am going to reduce the wax here you see and the distal side you can see I have reduced the wax on both mesial and distal surfaces and then I am going to draw a midline here then I am going to draw two oblique lines from the midline towards the mesial and distal surfaces ok then I am going to remove the wax on either side of the crown like this I have reduced the wax on both mesial and distal surfaces. Then coming to the buccal side, I am drawing two lines which divides the crown into cervical one third, middle one third and occlusal one third. Then I am going to reduce the wax from the second line towards the occlusal surface so that I can create obliqueness here like that. I removed the wax so that I have created the angulation here. Then in the cervical region I am going to round the wax. Okay. Then I am going to draw a midline like this remove the wax on either side of the midline so that I can create slopes similar to that of canine by removing the wax on either side of the crown I will be getting a central ridge like this ok then Coming to, the, coming to the lingual side, I am going to reduce the wax on either side, mesial and distal side, so that the convergent towards the lingual surface. Okay, I am going to reduce the wax on the buccal surface towards the lingual surface to make it taper towards the parietal surface. You can see now then I'm going to round it off okay see on the buccal surface you can see the central ridge and the lingual surface you can see the round surface then I'm going to reduce the wax from the buccal surface towards the lingual surface to create a slope like this towards the lingual surface. I am creating an angulation from the buccal surface to the lingual surface like this. You should 
remove the wax corresponding to the slopes of the teeth like this. Can you see now? I have removed the wax on either side of the teeth like this and this. Then I am going to make the lingual surface a little more rounder. And I am going to reduce the wax on the cervical region of the buccal surface so that it appears round in shape okay then i am going to slightly polish the crown These are the basic steps for the same for the mandibular first premolar and also second premolar. Then coming to the carving of acrylic surface. Okay. And this is the mesial side and this is the distal side. So in the mandibular second premolar, mandibular second premolar, there will be three cusps which are prominent this is um, buccal will be prominent and lingually it is prominent on the medial side than the distal side so I am going to curve the cuspal region here say I am going to reduce the wax in this way to the center I am following the slopes and I am going to reduce the wax from the lingual surface towards the center I am preserving the marginal ridge here then I am rotating the teeth like this holding like this and I am going to reduce the wax on the this surface like this Okay, then I mean again coming back. I'm going to reduce the wax like this. So coming to the distal surface, there will be a small cusp here. See, I'm making the slopes a little more prominent here.
see here you can see the buckle surface you can see the slopes and central edge coming to the mesial surface you can see like this coming to the lingual surface and coming to the distal surface so you can see the occlusal surface the buccal cusp and lingual cusp and this is a distal small vestigial distal cusp okay in man mandibular first premolar we are going to extend this groove on the lingual surface but in this second premolar we are not going to extend the developmental groove to the lingual surface okay then we are going to cover the root part i am going to draw the root length here grass manner i am going to reduce the wax like this this is the grass reduction of the wax I had on the grass reduction of wax on all the surfaces. Then I'm going to draw a cervical line here. Then I'm going to blend the carving from the crown surface towards the cervical line. So that it will give a prominent cervical constriction. Then coming to the root, I am going to reduce the wax further so that it appears tapered in shape towards the apex. There will be only one root. For the mandibular second premolar, like this okay so then i'm going to polish the tooth See here, I am going to carve the triangular groove on the middle surface, middle side of the crown. 
so that I can make the cruise appear no permanent. Now you can see the buckle surface with the central developmental ditch and mesial and distal surfaces from the mesial surface, from the lingual surface, and from the distal surface. This is the actual surface. We can see two prominent cusps and the one vestigial cusps. Okay. Thank you.